Good morning, everyone. This is Sister Gloria. And this morning, I have a word of encouragement, a word of hope. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you and we give you glory and honor and praise. We reverence your name on this morning. Thank you for being so kind as to allow us another chance, another chance to come together, another chance to build one another up. Oh, God, we ask you to forgive us, Lord. Forgive us of all of our sins, Lord. And God, we pray, Lord God, that whoever will come and view uh, these videos, Lord, and listen. Lord, we're praying in the name of Jesus, Lord, that it will take the word in. Lord, that they will allow you uh, a chance to manifest yourself to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, 1 Timothy 1 and 7. A lot of us have heard, heard this scripture. And it says, uh, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And um, we see all the things that are happening in the world today. We also see and we know that uh, things are coming upon us quickly, that the enemy is, you know, he, he doing what he's supposed to do. But see, God wants us to trust him. And yes, we all walk, have walked in fear. And some of us still do because of the things that are going on. Um, a lot of us, we are dealing with, um, um, what, what is that? Oh, I have mercy. Student loans. You're worrying about student loans. You got to pay your, your house note, your rent, car payment, car insurance. It's just so much that's going on. But God. He has brought us out so, so, so many times. And um, who, haven't, who has not had um, financial dilemmas? Who, who, who has not had them? The Lord wants us to know in the book of John, John 16, let me get black so I can see. John 16 and, and 33, he says, these things I have spoken to you that in me, you might have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We are his children. And the word of God says, there's no good thing that he will withhold from them that walk up right before him. God, He, y'all, he love us so much. The father, he love us so much. And he he don't want us operating in fear and doubt and disbelief and all the works of the flesh. That stuff is coming. It's coming from the enemy. And y'all, when I say it to you, I'm saying it to myself. We got to fight back with the word. I have to remind myself, do you, I, you know, I'm like, how could you forget to pray? Because I'm just being honest. Sometimes things be coming. Don't, I ain't, I'm not living a life of sin, but I'm, I'm, I'm just saying the stuff be coming so, so quick and so fast that you, you mean, you like, sometimes I forget, I be praying about other stuff. I forget to pray for myself. Y'all, we should always, I, I believe as I'm growing in grace that we should pray for ourselves first. Pray for ourselves first so that we can be able to stand up against all the, the, the things that are being thrown at us. And because we are living for Christ, um, it, it's not no 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 easy walk. We're we going to always be warring. And so we thank God for being being our battle axe, being our, 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 um, our uh, what's that word? We thank God for being our, our he's our that stronghold. We get to hold on to the horns of the altar. That ain't the word, but I can't think of it right now. Holy Spirit, bring it back to me. God, y'all, I truly believe that God is with us. And if we just hold on, I'm, I'm speaking to myself. Because, you know, it, it's some disturbing things going on in this world. And y'all, we got to hold on because we done came this far. It's no, it's no backing up. If we back up, what we going to back up into? It ain't going to be good. So we're going to continue to press toward the mark for the prize for, of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Y'all, the battle has already been won. We just got to endure. 
I got to endure. You got to endure. So that's all I have on today. And, and people of God, don't give up. Don't give up. And you know what? The enemy, he don't care who he, who he used. He don't care about nothing. Long as he can get us off, off track and not doing what we know we are to do because it, the stuff is just coming at us. But we got, and I got to remember who I am and who lives in me. The greater one, he abides in me. He abides in you. And if, you know, just calm down and we allow him to use us and we be careful what we see on social media and we be careful what we hear on social media because you got a lot of people that are uh, uh, here in the earth, a lot of false prophets, all these voices here in the earth, a lot of, a lot of them ain't number liars. And so you will get off track if you don't know the voice of God, because they, they, they'll smile, they'll say all these kind words, they have their gift of gal. When you know anything, you you'll be you'll be jacked up, you'll be messed up because you'll be like, Well, what did he say? Well, what did she say? But what did God say? We gotta know what God what is the Lord saying to us in these last and evil days, y'all. We are more than conquerors. We can do all things through Christ Jesus who has strengthened us. Gosh, I thank God for strengthening his people on today. Lord, strengthen us all, God. All of us, whatever we're going through, sickness in the body, sickness in the mind, whatever it is, you need some money, you need somewhere to live. We thank God. Most of all, you need Jesus Christ because he is our peace. He's our shalom. God wants us to have peace. Yeah, he wants us to have peace. And when we have peace, he gives that, that us that peace that's a passive all understanding. No matter what. I you know, you've been in so in, in, in a trial and it was it was one of them hot ones. And you be like, you ain't even really concerned because you got Jesus on board. When you got Jesus on board, you call it on the name of Jesus and you really, really read in the word. You can have some peace. So you will know if you ain't got no peace, that's probably because you ain't in the word. And I can say that for myself because sometimes, you know, we just be stuck. And this is no excuse. I'm just being honest because we don't always be wanting to read, but we need to read. We need to pray, 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 prayer, prayer changes things and prayer changes us. I'm going to get off here. To God be the glory. I pray that everybody have a wonderful weekend. Y'all be safe out there and, 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 and be sober and vigilant because the enemy, the devil, he always seeking who he can devour. But if we stay close to Jesus, he can't do nothing to us. Not unless God allow us, allows it. See y'all in the next video.